Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Ms. Whitehead Timbani and today we are going to learn ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas about subtraction word problems. Before we get started, let's get our math brains warmed up by looking at these pictures. What is the same in both boxes? It is the same because both sides have bugs. It is the same because both sides have a red bug on top. Can you think of anything else that is the same? What is different in both boxes? It is different because the first box has two bugs and the second box has three bugs. It is different because the first box has bugs with spots and the second box has a bug with no spots. Can you think of anything else that is different? Our learning outcome for today is to model and solve story problems. You can work on your communicator skills by listening so you can understand. Think about how communicators write or model to share ideas when I have you work on the math problems later. Before we get started, I want you to get some paper, crayons, and 10 counters and then come back to me. I'll count to 100 by 10s while you get your materials. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 1, 2, 3, come back to me. Just put your materials next to you while you listen to me read the story problem. What do you notice about this picture? Maybe you notice the dog. Maybe you notice the little girl walking the dog. Maybe you notice the path they are walking on. Picture in your mind what is happening while I read the story problem to you. Carlos walked dogs after school. What do we know so far? Carlos walked dogs after school. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Carlos walked dogs after school. He started his walk with seven dogs. What new information did we find out? He started his walk with seven dogs. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Carlos walked dogs after school. He started his walk with seven dogs. He dropped two dogs at Ms. Rose's house. What new information did we find out? He dropped two dogs at Ms. Rose's house. Continue to picture the story in your mind. Carlos walked dogs after school. He started his walk with seven dogs. He dropped two dogs at Ms. Rose's house. How many dogs does Carlos still have? What new information did we find out? We have a question. We get to figure out how many dogs does Carlos still have? Let's read the story problem again. Carlos walked dogs after school. He started his walk with seven dogs. He dropped two dogs at Ms. Rose's house. 
How many dogs does Carla still have? I want you to work out this problem. You may use your paper, crayons, pictures, numbers, words, or even your counters to show your thinking. I'll give you time to work on this problem now. Show me what you did. Carla started with seven dogs. He dropped two dogs in Ms. Rose's house. So he has five dogs still. Seven take away two is five. Maybe you put seven counters down for the seven dogs then took two counters away for the two dogs he dropped at Ms. Rose's house. Then you counted five counters, so Carla still had five dogs. Maybe you drew seven counters, crossed two off, and counted five left. Picture in your mind what is happening while I read the story to you. The next day, Carlos started his walk with 10 dogs. What do we know so far? The next day, Carlos started his walk with 10 dogs. Continue to picture the story in your mind. The next day, Carlos started his walk with 10 dogs. After a while, he dropped four dogs at Mr. Bob's house. What new information did we find out? After a while, he dropped four dogs at Mr. Bob's house. Continue to picture the story in your mind. The next day, Carlos started his walk with 10 dogs. After a while, he dropped four dogs at Mr. Bob's house. How many dogs does Carlos still have? What new information did we find out? We have a question. We get to figure out how many dogs does Carlos still have? Let's read the story problem again. The next day, Carlos started his walk with 10 dogs. After a while, he dropped four dogs at Mr. Bob's house. How many dogs does Carlos still have? I want you to work out this problem. You may use your paper, crayons, pictures, numbers, words, or even your counters to show your thinking. I'll give you some time to work on this problem now. Show me what you did. Carlos started with 10 dogs and he gave Mr. Bob four dogs, so he has six dogs still. 10 take away four is six. Maybe you used a number track from one to 10. Put a counter on number 10 for the 10 dogs Carla started with. Then move the counter down four spaces for the four dogs he dropped at Mr. Bob's house. You landed on the six, which means Carlos had six dogs left. Maybe you held 10 fingers up for the 10 dogs. Then you put four fingers down for the four dogs he dropped at Mr. Bob's. That left you with six fingers up for the six dogs Carlos had left. There are so many ways to solve this problem. 
Let's reflect on our learning. Take a moment to think about yourself as a mathematician and communicator. Did you learn something new about modeling and solving story problems? Were you able to listen so you could understand? Did you write or make models to share your ideas? Mathematicians can communicate their ideas in many ways. In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned ways to be a problem solver and communicating our ideas. Try to make and solve story problems where you take objects away with your family today. Make sure to communicate how you solve the problems. I'm Ms. Whitehead Timbani. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.